Let's go ahead and draw for the next initiative phase, and not too surprisingly, Allied Initiative. This is the uh, Allied Initiative. Uh, let's not take advantage of the fact that Germans withdrew to try to launch an attack. Go ahead and do the set piece attack, um, which allows me to move two before, which would bring up my infantry and armor. I'll go ahead and bring those up. That's one unit, two units. Three units. Four, five. I should really make sure I know how many units I've got. Okay. I Okay, I set out enough uh, activation units, so these two stacks can be activated. Um, this stack can be activated, this armor can be activated, and this armor can be activated. So I've already moved most of those. That means I can move the armor up to this armor up there. So I'll start attacking. Um, this is when I wish I'd done more air. Looks like that one can use the most help. But I'll go ahead and use it on this one because um, I'd like to get the breakthrough there. So we shall start with that unit. It's a piece of attack. Got 1620 to 6. That's our 3 to 1. It's going to be. Um, I'm going to cross the river, so basically we're going to have a three to three. Okay, so now is the one one. Humans get a 2 1. So this is both successful. This is going to be a standoff. So the Germans on a standoff. And they retreat if they want to. They only get one hit. Uh, they'll have one more hit for the odds. Yes. So it'd be two hits. And uh, I think they're just going to head and suck it up and take a casualty right there. Got to keep the river. Allies have minus one because of the odds, plus one because of the river. And they rolled a two anyway. So basically they have two. Okay, it takes one. Um, that guy takes one. Not a good start. Next attack, it's basically an automatic German success. Three for the headquarters, 
16, 19, 19 to 4 is 4 to 1. And the lead. I'll go ahead and lead with the lesser one this time. It's basically a 2 to an automatic success. Analyze. Good lucky. Success. The Germans will have a success. How many casualties? Two casualties. Okay, so the odds. This is both successes again. Another standoff. This time the defender may retreat if they want. So the Defender first, uh, two minus one, plus one. So basically two casualties. They will go ahead and retreat. Um, to lose one of the casualties, we'll still have to flip over. Retreat three. Allies can advance. The allies are going to take plus one, minus one, and two. They have to take two casualties. And I'll take both of them off that unit. Now we have this attack. I can only activate those units. We get um, I think all those units moved in. That is that. And that's open. So this is actually mobile battle. Two, four. Seven to one. Okay, allies first. That is not a good roll. Should have decided what I was going for first, but. Doesn't matter they lost. I would have had that guy go first. The Germans. Uh, also failed in round. This is a mobile battle. Still meet. Defender gets plus one hit. They're basically gone. They've only got two steps. They have to lose at least uh, four. But the allies have to soak up three hits. If they'd have air support. They could have done better. I'll flip that one. And remove that one, I guess. That's three. German unit is gone. You can advance. Infantry would have to stop. I mean, the army could go through farther if they wanted to, but they might as well stay there for right now. That was the uh, second action. It was an attack. We actually have another action for armor.
No armor there. Don't think they want to attack by themselves. I think that's the end of the activation. So the German reaction is coming next. Miss a couple things, I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt and not leave that headquarters alone next in the zone control. And then also can move this unit two hexes. I'll move it there. Okay, so that should be the end of that activation. For the German reaction, I'll go ahead and pull this guy out. Uh, give him a move and uh, admin move. So that's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the end of that, so we'll see who goes next. Allied activation. Okay, I'm activating the first army and I mark the units that are going to go. We're going to go for a penetration attack, so um, the infantry units will just be in administrative mode. They can move up to eight. Armored units can move four. And we can follow that with the armor attack. So first we'll set up the armor attack. Moving that, that takes two to get to there. These armored units. I'm going to come in here, that takes four. Move this unit up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Protect that headquarters. So I'm going to hopefully get into the good positions here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Got this armor. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Just have one attack. I'll throw my airborne on there. Some mobile attack. The odds are five, eight, eight to four, two to one. Let's go with the. Uh, it's going to be a. This is. I'll let the French lead the way. Um, they get a plus one. The Germans get a minus two, so it's going to be. Four to two. Uh, ally first. He's six 
seed. Only one casualty. Germans. Huh. Disaster. They fail. And the maximum casualties. So this is a mobile attack, flexible attack, field defense. Defender must retreat. Uh, with the mobile, the odds are greater than three to two, maybe minus one for the Allies, plus one for the Germans. Yeah, it is mobile. So the Germans actually have four. The Allies get zero. So that unit's gone. Doesn't want to get across the river. I'll put the French Union across the river. And my unit there. This ends my recorded playthrough of uh, some of the terms from France 1944, the deluxe or the designer's edition. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped with your uh, learning to play the game or appreciating seeing how it goes. Thank you.